So let's talk about resonance versus tautomerism. So first of all, what is resonance? So resonance is the distribution of electrons in a molecule in which they're spread across multiple bonds or atoms. So as you can see right here, we have two structures of the NO2 ion, and we have a movement of electrons. Now, which is the real structure or the true structure? Neither of these. So resonance structures are not the real molecule. Rather, the, meal, the real molecule is a resonance hybrid, which means it's a combination of the different resonance structures. So as you can see right here, we have the NO2 ion, and if we look on our right, it's essentially equivalent to this resonance hybrid, which we've indicated by using dashed lines for the electrons. So what is tautomerism? So tautomerism, specifically in this case, we're talking about prototropy, is the change in location of protons in a molecule. So tautomers are individual molecules, real molecules, that exist in equilibrium. You can kind of think of it like you know acid-base. And tautomerism can be catalyzed by acids or bases as well. So here we can see four key types of tautomers. So we have keto-enol tautomerism, we have lactam and lectin, uh, amide and aminic acid, and amine and imine forms of tautomerism. So as you can see in all of these, we have a movement of a proton. Usually we're changing from an alcohol to, for example, a ketone. So how do you easily tell the difference? Well, the easy giveaway of a tautomer, in this case prototropy, is the movement of a hydrogen. So resonance structures are different ways of moving electrons to show the structure of a molecule. Neither of them are the true structure of the molecule. The true structure is the resonance hybrid. But tautomers involve movement of a hydrogen, so this is actually a reaction. You can draw it with a curly arrow mechanism. It's two different real molecules. So as you can see right here, we have two forms of this monosaccharide. We have the straight chain, and we have the ring structure. And as you can see, we're essentially taking this oxygen that's on carbon-5 on that uh, alcohol, and we're connecting it to carbon-1 to form a ring structure to close this ring. And if you notice, there's a couple key differences. So if you look on carbon-5 on the left structure, you see that oxygen has a hydrogen connected. But on the same oxygen, on the ring structure, that hydrogen's gone. Now, if you also look on carbon-1 on the ring structure, we have a hydrogen on that OH. And on carbon-1 on the left structure, the straight chain structure, we actually have an aldehyde. So what we can see is that the hydrogen has moved. From the left structure, we have the hydrogen on carbon-5, and now it's moved to the carbon-1 on the right structure. So this is a ring chain tautomerism of glucose. So this is an important form of a tautomerism to know. And this is essentially movement of a hydrogen. So yeah, that, that's it. Basically, just look for a movement of a hydrogen.